Hi, first grade. Today we are talking about three add-ins. We are on pages 315 and 316. Now, before we start, just remember that three add-ins, what we're talking about is we're still adding, but what we're doing is we're taking three numbers and adding them together, okay? So it would look something like this. Three add-ins would be this, this, and this. And all that means is there's one, two, three numbers that we are adding together, okay? So let's go ahead, I'm going to erase this, and I am going to draw out um, number one on our page on here. So if you're on your workbook page, it's going to look like this, okay? But before you go ahead and fill it in, what I want to do is draw it on the whiteboard so you can see it and I can explain what we're talking about today. So the problem is three plus three plus seven and we need to come up with the answer, right? Now you're gonna notice that there's this circle up here. And you might be wondering, what am I supposed to do with this circle? Well, when we are um, adding three add-ins, what they want you to do is use a strategy to combine two add-ins and then we'll complete the sentence. So if we go back to two days ago, what we were talking about is doubles, right? And right here is a doubles problem. Three plus three is a doubles fact. And three plus three equals six. So what we would do is we would take those two numbers and put the number six here, right? And then what we can do is if there's space on the side, I'm going to do it down here, we would do six plus seven. And what that does is it makes the problem a little bit shorter and we can add in our head the bigger number, seven, and count on eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. And our answer is 13. Okay, so that's problem number one. Let's try problem number two. And we'll see if there's another doubles fact in problem number two. Two plus four plus six equals blank. Okay, in this problem, do you see a doubles fact? Nope, I don't. There's a two, there's a four, and the six. Okay, so what we would do this time is we would find the two numbers that equal 10, and then we would add on from there. So in yesterday's video and the day before, we were talking about adding to 10, and we know that when we have the number 10 and we add on, it's a lot easier. So let's see, is two plus four equal to 10? So four, five, six, nope. So let's see if four plus six equals 10. Put the bigger number on our head, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Yes, four plus six equals 10. So in our circle above, these two would, you would draw the line for these two and we would put the 10 here. Okay, and then what's two plus 10? 12. There you go. So two plus four plus six equals 12. Very good. Okay. So for number three and four, it's, this, it's very similar, but the only difference is we are um, adding vertically. Do you guys hear the um, jets? They're super loud. Okay, so this time we're adding vertically, which means up and down, right? That's the only difference in what we're doing now. So we've got three plus two plus four. Okay, now this time they're really throwing us some curveballs because there is no doubles fact here. We can't do the doubles adding and there is no numbers here that equal 10. So what we're going to do is find the numbers that equal five. So three plus two equals five. And then, then what they want us to do is add five plus four. So you would take five and count on four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 
our answer, I can't fit it down here on the bottom, but I'll write it here, is nine, okay? So I know that this is a little bit different. Now, what you could also do if, it's not what we're doing today, but another way that you could add just for future is take your bigger number, four, and then add the three, four, five, six, seven, and then add your two, seven, eight, nine, and you're still going to get the same answer. If you drew all of this out and you counted, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, there's a lot of ways that you can find the answer to these addition problems, but what we're focusing on today is taking two of the numbers and combining them in to what they equal and then adding two numbers instead of three. All right, let's try number four. Okay, so we have seven, seven, nine, and one. We're trying to come up with that. Now, do you see any doubles problems here? Any double fact? Nope, they're all different numbers. Okay, do you see any numbers that might equal 10? We have nine, and what's nine plus one? Nine plus one is 10. So these two would go together. We would write our 10 here, and then we need to add the seven and the 10 together. So what's 10 plus seven? 10 plus seven is 17. There you go. All right, so the strategies that we use to solve these would be um, combining two add-ins and then adding the one and the, the, the number that we combined with the remaining number to come up with that answer. All right, let's go ahead and look at number five and six together. All right, okay, oh, well. Okay, there we go. Okay. Number five and number six, the directions say, write the number in each set and complete the addition sentence. Okay, well, this is kind of a review. This, these right here, if you were to count the crayons, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There are three sets here, and in each set, how many crayons did I just count in that one set? There are 10, yes. So in the three sets, there are 10 crayons. Well, what's 10 plus 10 plus 10? You would just count these by 10. 10, 20, 30. You would write 30 in there. You try this one. How many blocks are in the sets? You're gonna write that answer there and then count by fives. Five plus five plus five to get your answer there. You try that one on your own. All right, let's look at the bottom. Draw eggs to picture the story. Complete the sentences. Okay, so this is kind of what we did up on the top of this. We're breaking this problem down into, um, oh, actually, let's read it first. Okay, Juan served three plates of eggs. Okay, here are the plates, one, two, three. He put two eggs on each plate. Okay, well that right there tells you how many eggs you need to put on each plate. Here's your number, go ahead and draw those eggs on each plate. How many eggs did he serve? All right, so this is an addition problem. We wanna know how many eggs were on all of the plates. Okay, so we are adding, and then this is gonna be your equal. So that's all I'm gonna give you there. All right, because right here it tells you Juan served three plates of eggs, one, two, three. He put two eggs on each plate. All right, that's the number you're drawing on each plate. They want to know how many eggs did he serve? So you would count the eggs on this plate, count the eggs on this plate, and count the eggs on this plate, and that's going to give you your answer. I'm gonna flip it over to the back side. Join me when you are ready. Okay. The directions on the back. Write the number in each set. Complete the addition sentence. Okay, so we already did this. There's three sets right here. One, two, three, and how many socks are in the set? That number is going there. And then two plus two plus two equals, you're gonna put that answer there. Same thing for here. There's three sets of, 
of grapes. How many grapes are in each set? Count them. Write the answer in and then do 10 plus 10 plus 10 equals blank. Okay, on the middle of the back page, I think it's exactly what we just did on the front with those plates of eggs. Draw circles to picture the story and complete the sentences. Taylor has three containers of bouncy balls. One, two, three, they're the containers. She has five balls in each container. Okay, so you need to draw five balls in each container, five here, five here, and five there. How many bouncy balls does she have? Okay, so they're asking us how many does she have? That tells us that we're adding. Okay, so you can fill that in and then add them together. You have the five plus five plus five equals blank. Then tell me the total. Don't forget to draw them in the containers. And then on the bottom, Trace the shape. Draw the same shape in a smaller size. That's pretty easy. I know you guys can handle that on your own. Okay, let me know if you have any questions that have to do with three add-ins. Have a great day, guys.